So, these are the hot springs of Yunohana. All of us were quaint buildings. But what are these springs, and why are they hot? Here in Yunohana, naturally heated water comes bubbling up to the surface from beneath the ground. The water's chock full of minerals said to have all sorts of healing properties. People come from all over for a chance to soak in the springs and wash away their worries. Oh, I see. Yeah, and also the sweet buns. People come to wash away worries and sweet buns? Who would ever... And don't forget the eggs. And eggs, too? This doesn't sound very relaxing. No, no, they're just popular hot spring snacks. People don't wash them, they... Right, they get wrapped up and sold in gift shops. A minute, let me get this straight. After you soak sweet buns and eggs, you're wrapped up and sold off? Enough chit-chat, everyone. We need to get Yoko to the baths. The bathhouse lies yonder. Let us make haste. Wait! I'm not letting anyone wrap me in a sweet bun!
Greetings, travelers. Welcome to the bathhouse of Yunohana. I am Sakura, your humble attendant. Pray make yourself comfortable, and let our warm, gentle waters ease your mind and body. Alright, this is where we split up. Magnolia and I will look after Yoko. Thank you. I am in your debt. And remember you, no peeking. Well, who said anything about peeking? If you so much as think about it, you're in for a knuckle sandwich. Uh, who said I was thinking about it? Sheesh, what kind of person do you take me for? We know better than that, right, sir? I'll say, I'd never dream of doing such a thing. Oh, you guys are no fun. But you just said, woman's at best a contradiction still. I guess I still have a lot to learn. Oh, come now, we're just joking with you. But we should get Yoko to the baths. Adieu. And just so you know, I wasn't joking about that knuckle sandwich. Well, since we're here, what say we enjoy a bath as well? Great idea, sir. I've never soaked in a hot spring before. I shall join you. My road has been a long one. There's nothing like a nice hot bath. You can say that again, sir. Indeed. All the aches and pains of my road-weary body just seem to melt away. But look at those packs! It's like you're chiseled from solid stone! No wonder you're such an incredible swordsman. I guess I need to bulk up if I'm ever going to be as strong as you. I would not say that, Master Yu. For a swordsman, it's not about the quantity of muscle, but the quality. You both have a lightness, which should serve you well with a blade. Do you really think so? Still, I've always wanted to be big and manly like you and Tiz here. A hundred push-ups a day from now on, I'm gonna get ripped! I don't believe it when I see it. What? <laughs> uh, what are you three doing here? We could not help but overhear your conversation. All this talk of muscles and the like piqued our interest. Did you hear that, sir? Tanzabro? They want to see some muscles. I say we show them some. I don't know about that. I too find the idea a bit embarrassing. Well, you heard them. No show for you today. Murgurgur. Who even said we wanted one? We just came to tell you that Yoko's feeling better, but I guess you don't care about that. Huh? But that's not what you... Oh, our minister is so cruel. Whatever is a princess to do? Now look what you did. We're going back, and remember, no peeking, or else... Knuckle sandwich. Well, uh, huh. They can look, but not us? It's not fair, I say. That's what they mean by a contradiction still. Well, I won't be the one to disappoint our audience. Sir, if I may be so bold, I say this calls for action. You? Uh, you can't mean... All that talk about Knuckles sandwiches, it's just reverse psychology. They want us to peek. This calls for a coup de gravy if there ever was one. You've sure grown up awfully quick. 
You forget, Master Yu, that the group of ladies of whom you speak includes my dear sister. If you insist on peeking, you will face my blade. On second thought, maybe you should reconsider? Ah, uh, yes. Expert advice, sir. Ah, <sighs> now that was refreshing. I'll say, but I think I stayed in a bit too long. I'm gonna go outside and cool off a bit. Don't wait up for me. Sure thing. We'll see you back in the room. <sighs> the breeze sure feels good. Fancy meeting you here, Minister. Yoko, is your wound all healed? Yes. And it is all because of you. You and your friends have our deepest gratitude. Ah, don't mention it. We're in your debt, too. If it weren't for you and Don Zabado, we'd still be stuck in Eisenberg. Thanks to you, we can finally get after the Skyhold. We are pleased. Speaking of which, we would seek your counsel on a certain matter. You are the heir to a prominent House of Knights, are you not? I am. Why do you ask? Have you heard of a legendary blade known as the Sword of the Brave? The Sword of the Brave? You know of it, then? Uh, no, no. Um, I mean, what about it? We seek this Sword of the Brave. We would gift it to our Onisama. As Crown Prince, Onisama should one day rule this land. Or he would, were it not for our father's challenge. If you would succeed me, bring me the sword of the brave. These were father's words. But why? Onisama is brave, wise, and a peerless warrior. We can think of none more worthy of leading a nation. And yet, in truth, he does not share our father's blood. That is the reason for which father would issue this impossible challenge. Anisama gave up any claim to succession and left to wander the realm. But we shall not give up. We shall find this blade that Anisama might take his rightful place as Lord of Unohana. No! Trust me, Yoko. Forget about the Sword of the Brave. Why would you say that? The blade is cursed. It will bring you and your brother nothing but suffering. So, you know more about the sword than you let on, Minister Yu? Uh, I, uh, yes, I, um, read about it in history class. And perhaps you also know where it might be found? Uh, sorry, I don't recall more than that. Is that so? Well then, we will just have to find it ourselves. Yes, where might it be? Sealed away in Starkfort, mayhap? Or sleeping beneath Mount Karka in Geyser Grotto? Mm? <laughs> Aha! Our minister's reaction tells us we guessed true. Well, no! I, I really, truly don't know. I'm sorry, Yoko. We understand. Pray forgive your princess. We did not mean to upset you. Good night, Minister Yu. <laughs> it's getting chilly. I should turn in before I catch cold. Morning, everyone. Morning. Did everyone sleep well? I would have, if not for Idiot talking in her sleep all night. What are you talking about? I never talk in my sleep. Is that so? Then why did I hear all about the ice cream parlor with all-you-can-eat parfaits? I talk about that when I'm awake. And the bakery where you made the owner build you a house out of brownies? Uh, um... <laughs> All before swimming laps in your malted milkshake pool and then calling it a night on a bed of cinnamon mascarpone pancakes? 
<laughs> oh, you got me. Good morning, Tanzabro. Master Yu, have you seen my sister? Yoko? She isn't with you? When I awoke, she was nowhere to be found. Wherever could she have gone? Not Geyser Grotto. Oh, she couldn't have. Huh? But what would ever lead her there? We were talking last night, and, well, it just kind of came up. My sister? Alone in that treacherous place? Forgive me, friends. I must follow her at once. I have a bad feeling about this. We should go, too. Do you know where it is? At the foot of Mount Karka. Let's hurry. Lead the way, you. So sorry. Are you all right? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Excuse me. Tis but a scratch. Uh, don't worry about... No. Oh. oh, no, please. Here, come and sit down. Hmm. It doesn't look like anything's broken, but I suggest you take it easy for a while. Well, that won't do. I just got in a rush order, too. A rush order? Yes, from an expedition that set out for Grab Keep a few days ago. They say they need additional foodstuffs delivered at once. Food, huh? Okay, we're on it. We can deliver it for you. You said it was a group headed for Grab Keep, right? Is there an addressee? It was, uh... Ah, yes. They called themselves the Ominous Party. Okay, I'm an... Oh, what? Did you say ominous? That's right. They should be easy to recognize, what with that pet Dagon they had with them. Not to mention the bodyguard they hired. An odd-looking one, but quite the archer. I believe her name was Artemia. Right. Artemia too. Idia, I understand why you might be uncomfortable, but we did offer. Let's just go and get it over with. Right. Okay. So we just need to take the food you've got there? Yes, that should do for now. The party said they'd be ordering more, so I'd appreciate it if you could ask what else they need. Sure, will do. Thanks a lot. You're doing me a true favor.
So good! I'm stuffed! Magnolia, you've really become an amazing chef. Tell me about it. I really look forward to the days when you're on kitchen duty. Vraiment? You're too kind. Now, wait right there while I get dessert. Dessert, too? This is a treat. Ow, 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 ow! What's wrong, you? Uh, my muscles... Uh, oh, they're cramping up! Ow! You remember, don't you, Magnolia? His little problem. Oh, Lee! You're terrified of ghosts! A real scaredy cat! Well, hey, but they're the only thing I'm scared of, remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, your only fear. You've been hunched over in terror since we got here. Your muscles are bound to feel the strain. But, Idia, you don't like ghosts either. You said so. Who does? But they don't make me completely lock up in terror like you. Anyway, I think I'm going to get some fresh air. Wait, where are you going? Just getting in a little exercise. Gotta make room for dessert. I really admire her commitment. To dessert, I mean. Indeed, braving these pitch-black corridors and narrow stairs with evil spirits lurking around every corner? So, what's the story with this keep anyway? Well, it all goes back to... <clears throat> Was that Idia? What's she doing? Idia? Are you all right out there? Yep, I was just taking some practice swings and, uh, hit the wall by mistake. That must have been some swing if we heard it all the way in here. Did you hear that? It sounded like small bits of debris coming down from the ceiling. <sighs> you know, these walls are really fragile. I mean, <sighs> I barely touched this one. I think we should just knock through the walls instead of following the passageways. I don't think that's practical. They're way too thick for that. She probably just knocked some plaster off the surface, <laughs> that's all. In any case, Idia, please stop hitting the walls! Huh? What's this about walls? Mmm! Mmm! Oh, it tastes amazing! Mmm! Oh, oh, you really topped yourself this time! Mmm! Really? Merci beaucoup! What? Hey! When did... how did he... Two seconds before it was ready, she just appeared next to me, spoon in hand. Like... a ghost? You know, I'm still hearing a lot of falling debris. Uh. Mm -mm, do you taste this, everyone? Mm. This is to die for.
We've found it at last! With this, the ultimate magic is... Ominous Crow, partner to Bahamut and holder of the Black Mage Asterisk. Formerly a lieutenant commander of the Eternian Sky Knights. He bears an enduring grudge against women. His explosive personality wins him few friends among his comrades, but none would deny his skill with fire magic. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Ding dong! Delivery for Ominous Crow! Good grief, you'd better be grateful for this. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> what in the... <sighs> An earthquake! It's a big one! Muscles are no match for this. You know, I think most people would realize that without even trying. Tiz, you're all right! No good, sir. There's no sign of an exit on this side either. You! And Magnolia! Oh, what a relief. I wouldn't get too relieved. It would seem we're trapped. Trapped? What about the others? They're fine. Ominous and his party are resting just over there. I see. Well, first things first. Let's deliver the food we brought. About that, Idia. We were thinking it might be better to keep quiet about the food for now. I have to agree, sir. We split up to search for a way out, but there was none to be found. We can hope the townspeople will send a rescue party, but that won't happen until they realize we've gone missing. We may want to hold on to that extra food until we really need it. Ominous and Bahamut aren't likely to be that patient. Not to mention Artemia. All right. We'll keep it a secret for now. Come on, you. Help me hide it. Ominous unfair. Not fit for leadership. Artemia not follow. Artemia Venus. The Wild Wolf. Holder of the Ranger Asterisk. Youngest of the Venus Sisters. And formerly of the Blood Rose Legion, with whom Idia and her allies did battle. Be not fooled by her cuddly appearance. For this soft exterior hides a fierce heart that sings most keenly when battling to the death. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? What did you say? Why, you impertinent little... Food should be shared. Equal. Fair. Why should I have to share m m my food with the hired help? Ah! Don't you worry, Bahamut. I'll make sure enough is set aside for you, too. Bahamut more understanding than ominous. Food must share. What are you two bickering about? Who? Idia! What are y y you doing here? Delivering your garbage. Says right here. Foodstuffs for the ominous party. Idia have new job? Grand Marshal's daughter, Delivery Girl? Lux and Dark Economy, very harsh. I'm not a... Ugh! This is just a favor I'm doing for someone. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but did something happen to my dad? Oh. You must be the Delivery Man's son. Alavash, that's quite the family resemblance. 
I'm Jambalai. Master Ominous hired me in Yunohana. Same for me. My name's Risotto. I'm Paella. Please, tell us what happened to Jambalai's father. We've known him since we were all kids. Uh, just a little accident. A sprained ankle has him out of commission, so we came to make his delivery. <sighs> That's all, is it? Yep, he's fine. No need to worry. In fact, we're supposed to contact him with any additional orders when we get back, so... I'm sure when we don't show up, he'll realize something's happened and send help. That's true. We can count on my dad. You... you said you weren't here to deliver some f f food, right? Well, hand it over. Finally, a decent meal. Ominous eat too much. Not fair. Every meal, he always serves himself and that Dagon there, Bahamut, more than any of the rest of us. He barely leaves a mouthful for us and Miss Artemia. Didn't I tell you to hand over the f food? Hurry it up! I'm f starving here! It's even worse than I thought it might be. We'd better keep quiet about that food for a little while yet. Yes, and it seems they've all eaten recently, even if it wasn't that much. Uh, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> about that. You see, Ominous, the food we brought got buried under the rubble. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, what? D didn't you come here to deliver food? What kind of delivery girl are you? Of all the miserable... <laughs> You're just as useless as the day we met. Ooh. Murker -ker. You're welcome to the food we have left, though there's not much. Thank you. The offer alone is more than enough. Everyone must be worn out. Why don't we all just call it a night? Uh, I'm in charge around here! I say when we call it a night, not you! Yes, yes, of course, Master Ominous Sir. Won't you consider turning in for the night? Don't you take that attitude with me! No one is to rest until I say- <laughs> All right. You may all sleep now. Having trouble sleeping? Mm, yeah. And I've just been thinking. Like you said, it looks like the food we hid is going to end up being very important. Artemia said that any food ought to be split evenly among everyone here. But it seems Ominous is taking the lion's share for him and his pet. He's never been a great leader. But I'd hope at least... Well, he is the one funding this expedition and everything. I know that. But still... At this rate, those two will probably end up at each other's throats. And soon. And when that happens... It's getting cold. Come on, let's try to get some sleep. Yeah. Good night, Tiz. Keep trying, Bahamut! You're nearly there! Ah ah what was that noise just now? Ominous, what are you doing? Idiot! Are you blind? Any idiot could see we're training! Look, we don't know if anyone will ever come for us! Bahamut, mastering the ultimate monster m m magic might be our only chance of getting out of here! The ultimate... monster magic? <laughs> 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 
getting tired, little buddy. Why don't you get yourself some rest? Looks like a crash course isn't going to cut it. Hey, you grunts! It's time to eat! Chop, chop! Uh, uh, of course, Master Ominous. Right away. Is this a joke? What are these scraps? B but we're almost out of supplies. If we don't ration ourselves... How many times do I have to say it? Bahamut is to be kept happy and full. What part of that can't you understand? Hand over your shares, too. Come on. Hey, don't you give me that look. Ominous tyrant. Poor Bahamut. Bad master. <laughs> Everyone have life. All life equal. E equal, you say? Don't be ridiculous! Nothing could be further from the truth! If someone is to survive, it should be the most skilled, the most able, the ones the world needs most! Hey! Don't give our food to Idia and her slacker friends, too! They're not even working for us! But... but, sir... No, it's fine. He's right. Don't worry about us. Yes, we'll manage. Eat this. Artemia share hers. Thanks, Artemia. I'd be honored to share with you. Please, have some of mine, too. And mine. Fools! Ah, do whatever you want! Just don't come groveling to me when you're hungry later! Bahamut and I won't be sharing. Hmm. It looks like there's only enough left for one more meal. Indeed. We can hold out for a couple of days, but if a rescue party doesn't come soon... Wow, look at you, Bahamut! You've licked your entire plate clean! <laughs> <laughs> no one will deny that you're a cute one, Bahamut. Hey, Ominous. What was that ultimate monster magic you were talking about? What? Why should I have to tell you anything? Is it true it's an ace in the hole for going up against a ball? More or less. Not that you have any right to ask. We've traveled all over and never heard of such a thing. What's the name of this spell? Femto. Huh? Femto? Femto Flare. The ultimate monster magic. Femto Flare! When the Grand Marshal assigned us to those silly teens, I got stuck with that strange old man. He's the one who said I might be able to r release the power of Femto. And if you can, it might get us out of here? So how do you use it? Hey, idiot! You think it's that easy? We're talking about... about ultimate magic here! I was afraid you were gonna say that. Ah, talking to you is just making me hungrier! <gasps> Shake coming! Big one! Ah! No more shake for now. Chance to rest. <sighs> Thanks, Artemia. You're on a whole nother level, as usual. How do you sense these things? Hmm... You don't know yourself? I see. Speaking of which, why did you become Ominous's bodyguard? Get Ominous great magic! Get Ominous stronger and stronger! Ah, you wanted to test yourself against Ominous at his strongest, huh? Oh, Idia, read mind. True girl power. Respect. <laughs> nope, you haven't changed a bit. Or maybe a little. Ominous's assistants are really fond of you. They look up to you more than Ominous, it seems. Them honest. They sure are. Them all from Yunohana. Yunohana parents take care of Artemia. Artemia owe much. Miss Artemia, 
Do you really think we'll get out of here alive? Artemia not know. Don't you worry, Risotto. My dad's on his way right now. I'm sure of it. He must be headed here with an enormous rescue party even as we speak. Why, any hour now. Exactly. Try to keep your chin up. I... I will. You are Artemia's. Artemia protect Artemia's own. Right. We've been through worse. But for these poor kids, this is as rough as it gets. I'm afraid so. What do you want? Calling it a day already? Ah, I'm starved. We still had some f food left, right? Bahamut ate the last of what we had. Well, what are you looking at me like that for? Listen up, you, you ingrate. I'm saying this for the last time. I'm the one paying your wages here, and Bahamut is my trusty partner. He's the second most important m m member of this expedition. Perhaps even the, 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 the most important. Burr? <sighs> no understand. Give it a break, Ominous. Yelling is only going to make you hungrier. You're one to talk, idiot! You're the one who went and lost our extra food! Yes, Master Ominous, it's all my fault. Forgive me for even breathing. As much as I'd love to stay awake and get yelled at some more, I'm gonna hit the sack. Night-night! Wait! Don't you dare! Yeah. Looks like we can't hold out much longer, huh? You agree with Artemia about the food, don't you, Idia? Unless... Unless it's true. About Femto Flare. Right. Magic that can stop a ball? It's intriguing. But from Ominous... D'accord. I must say that I'm intrigued. Magnolia, you're awake too? And you? Yes. I'm also awake, and equally interested. I know it sounds good, but with the situation being what it is... Maybe we should just get some sleep. Yeah. Slobber. Morning. Ooh, looks like your day's off to a rough start, Ominous. And I got you to thank for it. If only you hadn't lost that food. That again? <laughs> you know, no one likes a nag. <laughs> nag? Undisciplined? No one like Ominous. Um, Master Ominous? I'm afraid that we've finally reached the end of our food stores. So this watery gruel is the last thing I'll ever taste? Ugh. 
And what do you think you're doing serving yourselves, huh? You should be giving every scrap you have to Muhammad. <sighs> That's it. I can't... I can't take any more of this. Unfair, narrow-minded, cowardly, incompetent. Hominus never learn. Hmm. And neither do you. Always going on about how people are equal. How life should be fair. B -b 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 Balderdash! Will this do, Master Ominous? It's the last we have. Then hand it here! Muhammad, come here, fella! I've got your brekkie -br right here! Come on, Muhammad! Brrr. What are you waiting for? Go on, eat! <laughs> What's wrong with you, Bahamut? Ominous, give it a rest. Even Bahamut is feeling guilty. You... you don't understand anything. Femto Flare is the ultimate monster magic. We have no hope of using it without Bahamut. You mean, that's why you wanted him to have all that food? But even if Bahamut survives, what good will that do if no one else does? You really... you really don't understand anything, do you? You think I just want to get me and my buddy out of this place? All I want is for Bahamut to master Femto Flare and live through this d -d -d disaster. That's all that matters! You know what damage that ball has done to our world already, don't you? It destroyed the entire western half of Eternia! Whole seas! Dried up! Mountains gouged out of the land! If we are to defeat that ball before it destroys our entire world, we need Bahamut and Femto Flare! If I can just help Bahamut master Femto Flare, I know he'll defeat the ball for us, even if I'm long since gone. You think I enjoy this? Well, I don't! But I'll sacrifice it. Everyone here, if I need to. Even myself! Ah! I understand, Master Ominous. I've seen you give your own portions to Bahamut day after day. What? I know you wake up earlier than anyone to keep practicing the spell. You must be hungriest of all, yet... Ominous, you've really been doing all that? Tell us more about this Femto Flare. Hmm. Even if I t told you, you wouldn't understand. Why can't we? Give us a chance, at least. Tell us what you're stuck on. Maybe we can help. B -b -b By unraveling the incantational bonds of a jaw class spell and refining it to its purest form through extensive tr tr training it should become possible for a familiar of the same elemental persuasion to master the ultimate monster magic, in theory. So it's not just a matter of practice, but teaching it to Bahamut in the first place? Sounds almost impossible. As it should. They don't call it ultimate magic for nothing. I assume the first step is learning the highest fire-type spell, Fireja. Is that right? Yes, that's already out of the way. Really? Ominous, you can use Faraja? You... you really are always looking down on me, aren't you? You cheeky little... Listen, in order to use the ultimate monster magic Femto Flare, I have to first release the incantational bonds on Faraja. With enough training, it can then be acquired by a magical familiar, like Bahamut. That's the ultimate form of monster magic. I have to quickly break the limits on Faraja. Then two, no, no, maybe three days of non-stop training. No sleep, no rest. But even if Bahamut masters the spell, the question then becomes whether he'll still have the stamina to use it. If we just had a bit more food, it would buy us enough time to save everyone. And now you know what I'm up against. So, shoo! Let me work in peace. It takes more strength and focus than you can possibly imagine to unravel a spell like Faraja on the incantational level. You mean you've already started? Hmm. I started the day we got trapped. 
I've managed to break through everything up to the fourth level. Just one more to go. What was it the old man said? The king of all summons meets his match with the Giga Class Flare, while fey demons can even reach Zeta. Magical familiars are usually limited to the Pico Class, but with the help of their human masters, this can be refined further. The ultimate monster magic, Femto Flare! We're nearly there, Bahamut! Nearly there! <laughs> <laughs> Can we lay off the murderous rage a bit? Look, even your poor assistants are scared of you. I know Ominous is always setting you off. And now, that ultimate magic of his, Femto Flare, is that what's tickling your killer instinct? <sighs> Idia read mine too much. Like sister. Idia never get married. Lay off, will ya? <sighs> Never mind, Idia. But Ominous not fit to lead. I know. It seems like even Bahamut notices other people's feelings more than Ominous does. Artemia, aren't you getting hungry? Artemia, disciplined. Hunger, nothing. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I'm hungry too. Artemia, Odette. Parents of these three help Artemia. Treat Artemia good. Ask Artemia protect children. Artemia made promise. Protect no matter what. Idia, all life equal. Leader, bodyguard, helper, all same. Life, all equal. Human, Dagon, Frosty, all same. Grand Marshal, Pope, Sister, Idia, all equal. Yeah. We are. somewhere. Wound faster. Check his foot. He said he stepped on something the other day. Ah, it's so swollen. Call for drastic measures. Hold arms and legs. <gasps> Artemia removed pus. Drink this. Stop infection. One foot in grave. We'll make sure he drinks every drop. Hmm? Uh, Bahamut! No, that's... Hey, don't worry. It took three of us to move that huge rock. Uh. Ah! Baha! Baha! Baha? Baha! 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 No, Bahamut! That's not for you! Baha? Hand it to Auntie Idia. Okay? Uh-huh. Idia! What's the meaning of this? That's my... Ominous, wait. I can explain. Idia... hid food? Artemia... I'm sorry. It was my idea. With everyone fighting over food, I thought we should set it aside until we really needed it. And I agreed. Please understand. Never mind any of that. The, the, the good news is that there's food. Artemia, understand. Now we share food. Artemia, glad. What do you mean, share? Look how little there is. How do you plan to share that? What say, Ominous? Foolish girl, have you not been listening to a word I've said? If Bahamut can master the anti-ballistic Femto Flare, he will be the world's greatest hope. Got it? 
We need to focus on helping Muhammad in his training! Then we have to ensure that he gets out of here alive! That is all that matters! That food has to be used for Muhammad's survival and mine. Ominous! Artemia say again and again, all life equal! Leader, bodyguard, slacker, all equal! Human, Dagon, all same! Any life can save world! M my father and the other townspeople, I'm sure they're coming to rescue us! Shut your mouth, Lackey! Unless you insist on proving how stupid you truly are! Even if your father realizes something's wrong, how many days do you think it will take to form a search party and find us? And even if they find us, how many more days will it take to clear a way for us to get out? I guess... I never... You never thought. Yes, that's obvious enough. Idia, hand the food over to me! Idia, all life equal. Must share food equally. If we split the food up evenly, like Artemia says... There won't be much to go around. Even with careful rationing, it won't last more than two or three days. That's all? And if Ominous is to succeed in teaching Bahamut Femtoflare... It might take three days. Or longer. There's no way to know. Nor do we know if anyone's coming for us. Oh, what should I do? We all deserve to survive. So does that mean I should do as Artemia says and divide the food evenly? Or is it more important for the world that Bahamut survives? Meaning I should give the food to Ominous? They both seem deadly serious. Take care, Idia. Whichever choice you make, I have a feeling we'll be facing stiff opposition from the losing party. This is no easy choice. What should I do? What have you decided, Idia? The food should be shared evenly. It's the only fair thing to do. Idia! But Idia... I know what you want to say, Tiz. I understand it rationally, but... <laughs> this won't do. She blew it. What would the Templar think? And that old geezer... The girl you two trusted. This... Foolish girl and her fool friends. They've turned their backs on our world. No, there's still time. C come now, India. You'll reconsider, right? Sorry, Ominous. I've made up my mind. This food ought to be shared evenly. Ah! Forgive me, Grand Marshal, but I'm going to have to fry your fool daughter to a crisp! Come, Bahamut. We have to win this b -b battle for the sake of the world. Uh -huh? We... we have no choice. Burn them! Burn them all! You're about to face Black Mage Ominous Crow and his loyal partner, Bahamut. We will... We will defeat you! For Lux and Dark's sake! Aha!
nothing. for you. Let's give him all we've got! I hope you have some plan to save the world.
<laughs> ropes! Untie me at once! Finally came to your senses, huh? After all that yelling at us to come to ours, can't you take a hint from Bahamut and be a good boy? Bahamut, you're all right? Of course. All life equal. Aha! There we go. Evenly portioned. We have enough for 30 meals. Artemia, we three, and Idia's party makes eight of us all together. Bahamut, nine. Ominous, ten. All life equal. That's right. There's ten of us. That leaves three meals per person. We'll just have to make it last until help comes. All right. We know you've been waiting, so come and get it. Chew it real good and savor every bite, too. No wolfing it down in one gulp. I'm looking at you, Bahamut. Curse you all! Hurry and untie me! We, 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 we might still have enough time! If I could just teach Femto Flair to Bahamut, if you would just let me try! Curse it! How's Risotto? Artemia's medicine is working, thank goodness. His fever's gone down. Ah, <sighs> that's a relief. Here, let's all take turns caring for him. Thank you. I can watch him for now. Please, go rest. Okay. We're going to make it through this, everyone. You hear me? Yes, ma'am! Where are we? Back safe in Yunohana. They've put us up in the bathhouse. They found us. Is everyone okay? We're all fine. You and Magnolia are up and moving too. Artemia? The kids? They all made it back safely. They're out getting food right now, in fact. We figured you'd be grouchy when you woke up with an empty stomach. What about Ominous and... Bahamut. They both made it. They're helping out in the boiler room, preparing hot water for the baths. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> What's wrong? Are you still having second thoughts? Going against Ominous and giving up on the Femto Flare? No. I don't regret anything. I'd make the same decision again if I had to. Besides, I'm sure those two will master Femto Flare someday. Yeah, I imagine they will. A la vache, c'est magnifique! Oh my, what a splendid banquet! Miss Idia, the townspeople have all come to express their thanks! Prepare your stomach, Idia. I see a great feast in our future.